Hello and welcome to another quick video. This one on adding foot rails to a kayak. Uh, here's another upgrade I've done to, this is my uh, Impex Outer Island. This was a kayak that I picked up for 600 bucks and slowly I've been updating little things here and there. And then a previous owner uh, did away with the foot rails and the foot pegs in it. You could tell someone was around my height because what they did is they put foam up against the bulkhead. Uh, and for me, the foam is just a little too far. So uh, the other thing too is recently I had my buddy Lee uh, come and visit for a couple of days. So I spent several days out on the water paddling the outer island um, because this one didn't have foot pegs. So it was more comfortable for me to do it. Lee is a little bit shorter than I am. So after being out on the water for a couple of days, what I really wanted to do was add foot rails and foot pegs back in so that if someone else wanted to try it to paddle it or uh, if someone comes to visit or if I take it to an event uh, or because it this one is fantastic for rolling and so it would be great to have the versatility of anybody jumping in um, being able to adjust the foot pegs to different heights rather than only having the foam for me on the bulkhead also it had already been set up to have them in there the holes the bolts everything was still there so all I had to do was decide on what kind of foot pegs and rails I wanted and set it up. And I figured if someone was doing something similar, this might be helpful for them. There's many different types of foot pegs and rails out there for you to pick from. Each one will have a slightly different uh, system for you to be able to adjust the foot pegs. Some of them are able to slide in and out with your foot. Others, they have plastic flags on the side that you can reach in with your hands and be able to move them in and out. Uh, my sterling has uh, the flags but the flags simply lock them in place and out and then you need to move and adjust the foot pegs with your foot uh, these that i had bought a long time ago i had them for my skin on frame ultimately i ended up using foam in my skin on frame they allow they take a screw in the other direction so that you can mount them up against a piece of wood somewhere within your application and screw them in where the other rails that I got for the Outer Island are set up to accept the more usual thing that you see on um, sea kayak, which is the, this hardware with the bigger screws on the outside uh, and then plastic nuts. Most setups I've seen come with a distance of around 14 and a half inches between the two mounting points on each side. And usually what you'd want to do is have them set up in such a way so that depending on the, the the height of the paddler you want to be able to accommodate you set it up so that it's a comfortable position for you at a certain place within the range of the foot pegs for example since i'm a taller paddler i would probably if i were going to mount these in myself i would probably put the foot pegs towards the end of the set and then try to figure out where to mount them that way. So if a shorter paddler comes in, that way I have the entire range for different uh, heights of paddlers to be able to use the kayak. If you were, let's say you're more in an average group, then you probably can get away with having, with having the distance be somewhere in the middle, uh, mount them that way. So shorter paddlers can bring the foot pegs in, taller paddlers can push the foot pegs out. So the reason I chose these particular uh, foot rails and pegs were that uh, I like the system, they're easy to move. What I liked is they accepted a range uh, for the distance between the two mounting points so they didn't have to be exact. If it was slightly off in any way, the rails would still work. I used marine grade silicone, like Aqua Seal. Everything was mounted and I was able to screw it all in. You can tell that all of the hardware is pretty much standard in a lot of these different setups. The nuts went right into the openings for the rail. It was straightforward and easy to assemble. Now to end the video, the funny thing for me is uh, when this was set up, I'm guessing the first person that owned this kayak was quite a bit shorter. Funny enough, the rails, if I put the foot pegs at the very last uh, opening, it's still a bit too short for me. Um, I'm just, it's just too tight. I wouldn't be comfortable to paddle all day that way. I think I might be able to get away, let's say if I was practicing specific rolls where I wanted to be super, super tight in. But other than that, I, I won't be able to use the foot pegs. So I'm gonna be adding a bit of foam to the bulkhead 
for my use. The main reason for me to put them in still applies because if someone else that's shorter than I wants to paddle the kayak, now with those installed, I just need to slide these back in and they're good to go. They can adjust them to any height at all. So I think what I'm gonna do, since they're very light, I'm just gonna put them into one of the hatches, keep them in there so that I don't lose them. And then whenever someone wants to paddle, that's a different height we slide them back in and they're good to go. So I hope this was helpful for anybody that's thinking of doing something like this. Uh, I mounted a pair just like these in one of our early recreational kayaks and it was exactly the same thing. We figured out it was for my wife's kayak. It was a much shorter recreational one. We figured out where it was for the sweet spot for her. So we mounted it where her feet were kind of in the middle of the range and those stayed on perfectly. If there's any questions, comments, anything you'd like to add, anything, any tips you'd like to give to someone that might be doing a similar thing, things that work for you, uh, please do comment below. Subscribe if you like. I'm always trying to put these videos out. And as always, look at Thank you for watching and see you next time.